my feeling is that uh, many organizations don't do a very good job of uh, leadership succession uh, beyond the second generation. Uh, I think very often a company brings up the second generation leadership through an apprenticeship mm. um, approach. Um, whoever you think might be good successors, yeah. uh, they come along, they, they take part in meetings, they are put on projects, right. they are given visibility, yeah. uh, and hopefully through a mentoring, coaching type approach, mm. uh, you build up the next generation. Mm. The next generation learns from the first generation okay. uh, their principles, the values which have led to success, right. and they use those parts uh, which of course are particularly relevant for them to solve their own problems, right. the situation the second generation find themselves in. Right. This is not a problem at all. It's a good way of passing okay. uh, leadership down. My uh, concern is really about how the second generation passes on to the third generation. Okay. Because if they pass it on in the same apprenticeship mode, yeah. then the third generation will get a fraction of what they learned from the second generation, that fraction which is particularly useful for their own situation. Right. But what they get from the second generation, remember, is then a fraction of the oh. first generation. So there's dilution. Uh, there's dilution. Generation to generation. Right. So so my my view is that somehow after you get past the second generation, there ought to be a, a kind of a, a deliberate um, um, approach to exposing the succeeding generations to the principles, the values of uh, what happened with the first generation, right. why things succeeded in the first generation, right. and then they can pick from that what is applicable to their generation. Yeah. This way, hopefully, we don't have this dilution taking place, right. and every generation of leadership has the opportunity to go right. back to formulas of success 